Hello and welcome back to our behind the scenes series. Today's video will be focusing on MCM Birmingham that happened at the beginning of December. Good morning everyone! So we are smack bang in the middle of our two big winter cons. We've had the London one at the end of October and then we've got the Birmingham one at the beginning of December. So we are now in really in the midst of sorting out all of our stock. We are going to be packing up loads of stuff that we've been printing. So thankfully we sold really, really well in October, as you will have seen in our last video. And so that meant that we had a lot of stuff to print. Yay! We have actually got a, another printer, which means we are now printing even more stuff at once, which is great. Apart from the fact we now have a backlog of, uh, of stuff that needs packaging. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be packaging up everything that has been printed and then I'm going to be doing a stock take so that we can see exactly how much we have got for the next two weeks so that we know what to print because it is going to come round so fast. <laughs> So why don't you come along and help me pack, or at least watch me. I wish you could help me, but you can't. So you're just gonna have to watch me pack and I'm gonna put it on a time lapse. So it's gonna be really fast. So, whilst you are watching me in our crazy storeroom, I wanted to let you know that in 2024 we will be creating a brand new storage area to keep our stock organised and secure. So watch out for that video, hopefully coming soon at the beginning of next year. And yes, I do do our initial stock take with a pen and paper. I am old school like that. Let's go! Oh, it's cold. I know, right where my hand is, it's in freezing. When we arrived, we did a quick check of our stool space to find that it hadn't been built just yet. So we defrosted our hands and chatted to our friends at Milestones 3D before we eventually and very carefully unloaded our car. freezing cold this morning. It's first day of Comic Con and we are very excited, but we are so cold. I think it's minus 1.5 degrees. Oh God, I'm so cold. <laughs> Yesterday was set up day. It was quite slow, but it always tends to be. But we managed to get out and we are actually staying at a Premier Inn only 10 minutes down the road, which is so exciting because normally, as you've seen in previous videos, we drive home every day from London. So that normally takes an hour, hour and a half. So a little 10 minute drive has been very thankful. Um, we're gonna head in and get ourselves properly ready which will be good. Um, and, but we are just getting some petrol and gonna go and get some food.
are one hour in on day one and we've already made 125 pounds which is really good considering the fact that it is quite quiet still we're not used to this this is new um, at MCM in London it's normally really really busy at this time but apparently it's a little bit quieter on a Friday in Birmingham so we'll just have to wait and see and I will keep you updated morning it is day two I was gonna do a piece to camera last night however I ended up sleeping really early and having pot noodle in bed so decided not to do that nobody needed to see that although yesterday was a weird day it was really quiet but apparently we have found out that Fridays in Birmingham were actually the quiet days so hopefully today is sold out so hopefully today's gonna be a really good day we we made good money yesterday Especially considering the fact we didn't have our paint and take and we didn't have critical role during the kind of crowd that we have in um, but it was all in all it was pretty good I say it was just a really weird vibe um, today is sold out as I say so hopefully it will be a really good day we open in five minutes so uh, yeah I will uh, keep you up to date might do some filming and uh, see how it goes I know you're missing from our previous uh, YouTube videos, our routine of the morning coffee, but fear not, fear not, we still have coffee, it's just takeaway. It's the end of day two. It's been quite a good day, pretty busy today, which is really good. Um, we've pretty good on numbers as well, which is really good going into Sunday. Hopefully it'll be busy again tomorrow. But we have all covered up everything, which we do every night, just to protect it. And here is John. And we are gonna go back to the Premier Inn and have some pizza. morning it snowed last night <coughs> luckily not too much though so uh, we uh, we don't have to drive through the snow but you can uh, see that there's little bits on the ground and little bits on the cars which is quite exciting I like the snow I'm slightly worried though I've got wet hair and I might freeze but <coughs> oh, don't step in puddles I am just doing my uh, daily walk across to Sainsbury's to get sandwiches. We always get fresh sandwiches in the morning rather than getting 
like bulk throughout the day because there's no fridge to put them in. <coughs> Alright, it's getting a bit loud, so uh, I'm gonna sign out and go shopping. We're ready for the last day! So ready, it's fucking freezing! <laughs> It's like you don't want me to get colder. <laughs> so ready for the last day. Pretty good one so far, but yeah, ready, ready to be warm. Ready to be warm. Ready to go back down south to where it's south. warm. It's closer to the equator. It must be warmer. <laughs> oh, one degree warmer. <laughs> And we're back! <laughs> so I ended up not filming a whole lot on the last day because we were absolutely knackered and we wanted to get home from Birmingham to Surrey and it was late and so we just didn't really film and so I decided to do something here at home instead. We're a couple of weeks after the event now but I thought I would come on and just talk you through a little bit of what we learned and how it all went. So day three went really really well thankfully. Once we'd readjusted our expectations of what we were going to make, we actually did really well and we were really happy. We came away from Birmingham with a couple of surprises. Some stock that we sold that we've never sold before. So we've got a little frog creature that we have never sold any of our cons and we ended up selling three of them. We had a crocodile princess creature. Same again. We, I think we might have sold one or two of her in the past and we were out of stock by the second day. It was insane. We don't know, it's so difficult to predict what we're gonna take because of this, but we're hoping that in the new year, the more cons we do, the more we will work out what we can sell and what doesn't sell as well. There were quite a few things that we learned from doing our first away con. So obviously we had to pack everything into the car in one hit. Whereas with London, we'd come back every night, so if we'd forgotten something or we needed to top up stock, we just picked it up the next day. But for Birmingham, we couldn't do that, so we had to ram everything in the car. And we tried to come up with some better ways of packing the car and easier techniques for moving stuff around. So we ended up buying like loads of these bags, if you can see them, I don't know if you can see them, um, which we put all of our boxes in, which worked really well in terms of toing and froing from the car to set up and then pack down back to the car. Um, that worked really, really well. But in terms of packing it into the car, the space management wasn't quite, quite right. So we will be trying to readjust that again for next year, because we've got loads of cons coming up next year. So we will be readjusting our plan again. So yeah, all in all, it was a really good weekend and we loved going away we treated it like a little holiday so we are now back and we are actually relaxing so today's the first day that John has actually just chilled which is brilliant we need it we've got a couple of weeks off now and then I mean our Etsy shop is still open so if people want to order stuff off Etsy that's fine the shipping might be a little bit longer than our usual really really quick shipping um, but bear with us as it's Christmas. We hope that you have a wonderful holiday season and you go and relax and enjoy and go and paint some minis. Take the time that you have away from your normal day jobs and paint some minis and if you have any questions then either drop them in the comments below or if you fancy it you can go on Instagram and follow us. You can go on Facebook and follow us. You can sign up to our newsletter, just drop a message to us via any of those things or via our website or Etsy and yeah just have a wonderful holiday season and we will see you next year with some brand new content and going to some new cons so fingers crossed it'll be a good year for everyone. Happy New Year guys!